Hey folks, I hope I find you well. Uh, it feels like it's been a while. I've got a very quick update today for you. A very, very brief look back on the year that we've just had. Uh, literally 30 seconds a minute. But most, more importantly, of a preview of what's coming for 2023 for Dazzle Koi and for me. Yeah, good stuff coming up, so stick around for that. So, in terms of 2022, the year that's just finished, not great for me, got to admit. If you've seen me other videos, you'll know why. I'm not going to go into all that. I've been treading water a little bit this year. But that's done now. It's behind me. I'm all ready to go. Better than ever for 2023. I only did a few videos in 2022. Not uh, as, mu as many as I would have liked. It's been a bit difficult for me to get access to equipment, uh, to the pond and stuff. So yeah, I have I have struggled a little bit and I've I've not been in the right frame of mind as well a lot of the time. But the stuff I've put out, some decent videos, but not nearly as many as I would have liked. I've got a lot of videos written, a lot of scripts, uh, a lot of research done, a lot of stuff ready to go. So so look out for those in 2023. Uh, Going to be bigger and better quality than ever. Yeah, some good improvements to come in that respect. In terms of my own fish, all good, no problems at all. I've not had any issues at all this year that I can think of. No, I haven't. Access, not as much as I would like. Probably get the, I would I would say I get those six days out of seven. Um, but, you know, to clean the filters and to check over the fish and stuff. I've not been able to, I didn't risk putting the auto feeder on while I wasn't uh, able to get the uh, as often as I would like. So they haven't grown uh, as much this year, but in terms of health, except all good. Uh, there has been growth, but not, not what it could have been. But all healthy, pond, filter, fit, everything's bang on. So uh, no problems in that respect. In terms of the highlight for me, 2022, I would say Koi highlight would be the Great British Koi Show at Newark. Good to get back to Newark. I used to, to, to visit a lot in the, old, in the good old days. So it's quite good memories of the place and quite nostalgic. I rocked up in my little camper van, uh, pulled up onto the showground at the side of the main hall and I literally stayed there. I took the dog with me. We stayed on the, on the site. I went with a couple of friends of mine, Craig and Sarah, who hired a camper van and we pitched up there and uh, brilliant. The facilities, everyone we met, brilliant. Really good show. It really was a, a really well organised show, and a lot of people I met. I met uh, I met some great people. Everybody in this hobby is is good, but it really um, it really showed just how good uh, the show when uh, you know a lot. So many people came up and and said asked how I was and I had a chat to people. Yeah, it really helps. Really good. Great to meet you all and. Hopefully this year I'll get out and about to more shows and, and meet, meet even more of you. So yeah, that was I'd say that was my highlight, the, the show. And I, as I say, I'm going to get to more shows this year. And hopefully, I, I'm, I'm assured today actually that the Great British Coy Show will go ahead again this year. So yeah, look out for that. So that brings me nicely on to 2023. And what I've got planned for me and for the channel this coming year. I found myself talking to people a lot and people in the koi industry or who earn a living from the koi industry or hobby and quite often I find myself saying that it must be amazing to earn a living in the in doing something that you love and I think I finally realized that it's probably time that I started to practice what I preach so with that in mind what I want to do at the moment I'm doing a bit of CAD design to pay the bills I'd like to replace that CAD design with something Koi related to pay the bills. So for 2023, I'm going to start, it's not going to be a sudden quit that job, start this. It's going to be a gradual kind of ramp up, hopefully, the Koi stuff and, and ramp down the other. And then the goal being I can stop doing the CAD design and do earn the living, earn a living, pay the bills. As I say, I, I don't want for a lot of money. Um, I don't need a lot of money. So that, yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to practice what I preach. I'm going to try and earn a living from the Koi hobby this year. How, how am I going to do that? I've got kind of four things that I'm going to 
implement and I've started to implement already that will be the start of that. So firstly, Dazzlecore YouTube channel. I make about 70, 80 pound a month from the YouTube videos through advertising revenue. I spend hundreds and hundreds making those videos, not only in terms of, you know, microphones, cameras, all the bits you see around you, all the equipment that I buy to review, with the exception of the Tempest I buy it, I've bought everything myself, traveling, various bits and bobs of equipment, but time I put weeks and weeks into the videos. I get, as I say, 70, 80 quid, doesn't, pro doesn't nearly cover expenses, but it's a start. And as I say, this year, I am going to make much better videos and more videos, better quality videos. So I'm going to ramp up the YouTube activity. That's the first thing. The second thing is I'm going to create some mugs. I don't expect to make money from this either, to be honest. If I break even and earn a bit of pocket money, that'd be nice. But I will, uh, most YouTube channels now seem to have a mug, so I want a mug. But I'm going to do it a little bit differently. I'm going to buy the equipment to make mugs and print and press mugs myself. It costs about £600. I'm going to buy that and what I'm going to do, I'm going to get 75 mugs and I'm going to do a limited edition, all individually numbered 1 to 75 channel mug that when it's gone, it's gone. There will only be 75, there won't be any more. The first one to however many channel members I have, they, those mugs will go to channel members and maybe I'll do a draw or something like that to decide who gets number one, etc. And then with the remaining mugs I'll sell, 10, 12 quid delivered UK. If you're outside of the UK, I'll have to, we'll have to think about that if, there's, if that's possible, but we'll, we'll worry about that. 10, 12 pound, maybe don't hold me to that. And one they're sold, that will pay for the mug equipment and I'll then have that to do what, we fancy with it basically so you if you send me pictures of your fish your dog your whatever i can put them on mugs i can make individual mugs for you i'll have a range of dazzle coin mugs coin mugs in general whatever uh, so that that that's gonna happen in terms of designing the mug the limited edition mug i'll do that i'll reach out to the channel members soon and between us we'll we'll come up with a design for that mug so that's coming up soon so look out for that if you're a member. Third thing, this I suspect, I hope will be the biggest, the biggest thing for me. And that is, I'm going to start to offer for sale some courses, online courses on, on Koi, Koi Health, Koi Keeping, Ponds, Filters, whatever it may be. I'm going to develop a whole range of courses on all number of subjects. The online course business industry is, is big at the moment and, and forecast to go off the chart. So it is, it is a popular thing. So I'm going to do some online courses. There's a lot of work involved in them. There will be a lot of, of, uh, a lot to them, you know, so I will put a lot of work into that. I'll start with some shorter free courses, get them up and let people have a look at them, get some feedback. But yeah, um, the sky's the limit really in terms of the subjects, the topics, but I'm going to sell online courses, uh, you know, there'll be certificates for people who complete them. There'll be all manner of course, literature, electronic literature, as I say, videos, PowerPoints, lectures, slides, show, whatever. I, I'll, there'll be a lot goes into that. So look out for that. I think that will be the biggest thing going forward. The fourth thing I'm going to do, I've, I've thought about this for a long time and I've spoke to a lot of people and people who I speak to all think this, this would be a good idea. I'm going to start, I'm going to put together some pond, DIY pond build packages. So if someone's thinking about buy, building a pond themselves, I'm going to offer packages. So for a, a one-off fee in the package, there will be plans, there'll be drawings, there'll be access to instruction videos there'll be material list did i say material list equipment specs etc there'll be information on where best to get things from what particular filters what pipe work you'll need what fittings you'll need the whole the whole deal really 
So uh, there'll be, for example, if, if, if you're looking for a sleeper pond, there'll be a sleeper pond section, 1,000 gallon, 2,000, 3,000, whatever. Same for block belt, etc. Lots of different packages. In those packages, there'll be, mm, I'm not, done the detail but maybe six months technical support in terms of email phone whatever you need to help you through the build people local to me reasonably local for expenses there may be an option for me to visit people and help people with stuff but that that's the that the the, the idea is that if if you're going to build for example you decide you're going to build a thousand a three thousand gallon block built pond you'll find the three thousand block built pond package You'll purchase that and then within that should be everything you need to help you through that process i have through my building company uh, stuff work i have um for example 10 percent off b and q i may i hope to be able to offer to pass that on to people in which case if you buy all the materials that b and q sell that will contribute to a pond you'll probably more than pay for your pond package in the first place so yeah a lot of work to go into that yet but that's the idea that's going to be coming in in 2023 the so they're the four things the goal is i can stop the cad work and i'm no longer tied to a nine to five job so i can then be freed up essentially i need to be able to work from home if i had a home um and once I can do that, I'll actually work from van. So I'll get in my little camper van. I'll get off in the UK. I'll be able to go where I wish. I'll be able to visit koi breeders, dealers, hobbyists, you guys, ponds, visit your ponds, have little chats to you, make YouTube videos, anything. The sky's the limit, really. I, I'm free to go. I'm not tied to a job, so I'm free to get out and about, make those videos help people going but we've bought built packages etc so i'll be free to yeah get, get on the road really um throw myself into it full time and i'll earn my living working from the van that's the goal it isn't going to happen overnight obviously that's the long-term goal so i'm starting to get get every journey you know starts with a small step i'm, I'm making that small step this is the small first step i guess putting it out there I'm, I'm committed to it now so I've got to do it in terms of all the equipment all the stuff that I'm I'm going to be offering obviously I'm going to need a website I have already started work with a, a freelance web designer on a website on the website will be a section for the courses where you can purchase online courses there'll be a section for uh, a, a shop section for mugs and any other merch that I may or dry goods or whatever i may offer in the future there'll be a section to purchase pom packages there'll be a youtube video section where all these videos will be embedded there'll be blogs there'll be articles i've i've been writing a book for a long long time i mean when i say that i've been writing it for 10 years and what's in there you could probably if you were full time on it you'd probably write it in a week there's not a lot so but there's a lot there's articles there's things i'll be able to post them I'll be able to put car show stuff up there, dates and things. Yeah, I'm looking. For, I'm excited about the website. I must admit, and it, it is starting to look pretty good. Once that's ready to go, I'll get get some give give you access, give people the address of that and access to that, and get get some feedback, and we'll tweak that. Um, but that's going to be the hub, the centre of of all the all, all this work that I'm going to be doing next year. So I think I've talked about everything I wanted to there. I am extremely excited for this year now. I'm really looking forward. Can't wait to get going. Do leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you think any of that's good, bad, whatever. Let me know. I, always, I am at the feedback and research stage at the moment. So do feel free to chip in on that. Everything helps. Uh, look out for me in 2023. I hope you all have uh, belated, had a, a Merry Christmas. I'm a little bit late with that. I hope you all have a great new year. All the best to you all. I am definitely going to have a good year this year.